the maintenance man. You are looking inside of a Kohler toilet. Now, Kohler um, and other companies have started doing this, I believe. But they have this, like, cylindrical... Now, granted, this toilet hasn't been flushed in probably ages because of the buildup on it. I mean, I just flushed it not too long ago, but... Yeah, it looks pretty nasty, but we'll clean it up. Anyway, I'm using a vacant apartment to do this because I need to time to explain to you or whatever without the resident thinking I'm talking to myself. So, um, in inside the um, tank, you'll probably see these things that are like like big cylinders and stuff. I'm like, what the hell happened to the dang gone ball that goes over here and the flapper and all that? Well, toilets still use those, but here's some toilets that don't use those. I mean, so the first thing is when the toilet flushes, this comes up and it goes down like a flapper. That's how the toilet flushes. And you still have your nice little fill valve. When this goes up, it stops. Handle, which flushes the toilet. Um, the fill hose, with a little water that shoots out of it. It's going down in there. Now I'm gonna show you all something, and hopefully I'll do this one-handed, but um, let's say this thing starts running water, okay? So this thing starts you know, every night, midnight, or whatever you hear, and you know, you hear the sound that we're hearing now the toilets, um, you know, running, and you don't hear that, you just hear this every five minutes. Just well, it's losing water, and where it's losing water from is this little doodad here. So, what we want to do, what you want to do is turn this like a quarter turn and pull up now the water is still coming out but as you can see oh, I'm probably going to try to do this this way there we go okay as you can see there's a rubber washer on here this rubber washer is replaceable just by pulling it off Sometimes you can get away with just cleaning it. You can get away with just cleaning this. Or whatever. But as you can see, here's the notch I was talking about. That has to line up in the notch. And there. And then you quarter turn and the toilet will flush itself. So. This is going to be very difficult doing this one handed. I'm getting wet because of that stupid. Ah, get wet. I don't like getting wet. Look at that. No. Anyway, you're gonna put this on there. You're gonna find when it when it when it seats. I'm gonna twist it. Either way, will work. After you replace that little rubber seal. It probably won't run anymore. That's how a Kohler toilet works. So this is a Kohler toilet. That's what it looks like. And that's how it works. Okay. So keep that in mind. You'll probably have to buy that part number from your Kohler dealer or Sears or wherever you got it. And if your toilet has a yellow cap on it it's going to be a slow fill if it's a red cap it's going to be a medium fill or something like that because they, they really don't fill that fast but i can tell you right now if you have the yellow cap the yellow cap's gonna like take forever to fill because it's a silent thing so um i'd rather just endure the noise for like two seconds and then like the toilet sold up, you know, instead of whatever. But there are some silent fill, and I think they have yellow caps on them. But that's how you fill the, I mean, that's how you fix a cooler toilet um, that constantly runs. It's Jeff, the maintenance man, everybody be out there. 
everybody that who is out there be careful and um safe youtubing